So I wanted to be an investment banker, walk on Wall Street with money out of my pockets. Uh, and then now looking at that, it's such an impoverished perspective of the possibilities of what I can do in my life. It's not that money doesn't matter, it's that it's in service of something much bigger, much better. Here at South by Southwest Interactive, some of the digital world's brightest minds gather to discuss trends that will guide the tech industry in the year to come. One of those minds is Ben Rattray, founder and CEO of Change.org, an online petition site that has attracted 45 million users from across the globe since launching in 2007. Rattray, who is named one of Time Magazine's most influential people under 40, says that the tech industry is reinventing the way companies run. A change, he says, that will renew capitalism and bolster the economy by making corporations more accountable to their customers and employees. Reason TV caught up with Rattray outside the Austin Convention Center where we asked if making profit is at odds with having a social purpose. Our thesis is one of the most important vehicles for advancing social change is business. And if business isn't in the long term profitable, then it's not going to be sustainable, it's not going to be scalable. Uh, but we do passionately believe in this idea of the short term economic returns that people think that drive a lot of public companies actually undermine both social good and economic good in the long term. And so what we're most excited about is companies taking a long term perspective where there is that combination of purpose and profit. You know, you, you talk about social good, and I think it's easy for people to get a little bit cynical about that, but you said something great, which is you can't really regulate good. So what is the incentive then for business to kind of step in and start policing themselves? We think there are two really important forces that are happening in society that are giving companies the incentive to just behave better, behave in their best selves, we say. Uh, first is massive consumer mobilization online. You know, companies that used to do, you know, have policies that were obscure, that were, let's say, massive degradation of the environment or uh, something in their supply chain. Now that consumers know that and can mobilize around it, they actually change incentives. We see on a regular basis citizen movements that are calling on companies to have more ethical supply chains. And it's an example of how consumers are willing actually to, to pay and to support these companies, but they previously haven't known that information. Your website, change.org, plays a big pivotal role in kind of organizing people. And I find it interesting because you grew up wanting to be Gordon Gecko. How did you go from that to finding a website based on social change? Yeah, I think that the people that I know that are most passionate about social change, in many cases, are those that saw a different path for themselves when they were younger. Uh, it takes really somebody who saw the possibility of exclusively focusing on economic returns. I wanted to be an investment banker, walk on Wall Street with money out of my pockets. Uh, and then now looking at that, it's such an impoverished perspective of the possibilities of what I can do in my life. It's not that money doesn't matter. It's that it's in service of something much bigger, much better. And I think that people are happiest when they're part of meaningful organizations where they feel like they're making an impact. And that's what we are trying to do at Change.org. Rattray doesn't just talk about meaningful change, he's leading it by being one of the early adopters of benefit corporation status. Benefit corporations, also known as B corporations, are a new class of certified for-profit companies that voluntarily meet higher standards of accountability and transparency. You know, we talked about in the beginning stages of founding Change.org, we decided that the most effective vehicle for us was not a company, or rather not a nonprofit, it was a company. Uh, there wasn't sort of an obvious path for us to demonstrate that though we were a company, we really cared about social change. And so while I, because of my own passions, led the company in that direction, it's a lot more profound, I think, and pervasive when you end up having an outside certification process where you can make a commitment to this. And that's what happened with B Corporation in 2011. And so for us, it really enshrined our beliefs that already existed, but allowed us to deeply embed it within the organization and make a public pronouncement and hold ourselves accountable to it. Now we've seen tech companies like yours doing this. Do you see this kind of falling into more mature sectors like for instance, coal or energy, do you, do you see this idea spreading? Yeah, so B corporations almost have a thousand corporations around the country now, around the world, uh, and it's only accelerating. I think what will happen is people that are early adopters will have will get gains. It's a real opportunity to gain from a brand perspective, trust in the community, uh, and the people that are not doing it don't feel so much pain. However, once it hits a certain critical mass and you start getting momentum, companies that are not B corporations will look, I think, more suspect. And so if you're trying to recruit out of, let's say, major universities, business schools, and the top talent across the country, because there'll be a critical mass of companies that are big corporations, they will be the ones that attract more talent, they will be the ones that get more success, more press coverage and attention, and trust of consumers. And so I think it'll be, it'll be a long arc in progressively sort of developing, but it will happen. Now talking about creating the social change, why is the tech industry kind of this ground zero for, you know, not only being 
profitable, like, like Facebook, but also having these policies that promote like social wellness. I think that companies in the tech sector that are the largest oftentimes are platforms that empower other people. Empower them, let's say, through eBay to create their own business. Empower through you know, Facebook to connect to others uh, and change your own. Empower through their voice. And platforms like ours that rely on community participation, that derive value because of the participation of everyday people, I think are more subject to the concerns of those people. I think we are hold, beholden more accountable to those that are contributing to our our platforms. And so that's why I think the tech companies have a unique sort of role to play in building businesses focused on social impact. Well, Ben, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. For Reason TV, I'm Alexis Garcia. Mm -hmm.